All good things eventually come to an end, and the same holds true for the revolutionary space hero, Voyager 1. As of early 2025, Voyager 1 remains the most distant human-made object from Earth, located roughly 15.6 billion miles away. In the vast, silent sea of interstellar space, Voyager 1 drifts farther from Earth, but very soon it will breathe its last. No fuel, no rescue, no return. This is the final chapter of Voyager 1, our silent ambassador to the stars. Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. Launched on September 5, 1977, from Launch Complex 41 at the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, aboard a Titan IIIE launch vehicle, Voyager 1 was never meant to last this long. Built by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, it was part of a two-spacecraft mission, Voyager 1 and its twin, Voyager 2 designed to explore the outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, and beyond. But Voyager 1 wasn't just a spacecraft, it was a time capsule and a message to whoever comes across it in the cosmos. Strapped to its side was the Golden Record, a 12-inch gold-plated copper disc, carrying the sounds, music, and voices of Earth. Everything from Beethoven to brainwaves, to even greetings in 55 languages. Hello from the children of planet Earth. Voyager 1's first major encounter was with Jupiter, in March 1979. It sent back breathtaking images of Jupiter's great red spot, a storm twice the size of Earth and revealed volcanic activity on Io, one of its moons. This was the first time active volcanoes were seen anywhere beyond Earth. Then came Saturn, in late 1980, Voyager 1 showed us Saturn's rings like never before. It discovered new moons and helped confirm the existence of the ring gaps, including the Enki and Cassini divisions. After its Saturn flyby, Voyager 1's path veered upward out of the ecliptic plane of the solar system, leaving the planetary tour behind. As the years passed, Voyager 1 kept going further away. By 1990, it was nearly 4 billion miles from Earth. That's when scientist Carl Sagan had an idea. Turn Voyager around, let it take one last picture of Earth. The result? The iconic pale blue dot. A tiny speck, less than a pixel, floating in a beam of sunlight. After that photo, Voyager's camera was shut off to save power. Its mission changed. It became a deep space probe, quietly measuring cosmic radiation, magnetic fields, and solar winds as it headed into the great beyond. For over three decades, Voyager 1 drifted outward. Until August 25, 2012, the moment scientists had been waiting for. After crossing the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's influence fades, Voyager 1 officially entered interstellar space. It became the first human-made object to leave the solar system. But even here, 14 billion miles from Earth, Voyager 1's instruments still whisper back, low signals carried across the void, taking over 22 hours to reach Earth. But how is Voyager 1 still running? The spacecraft is powered by radioisotope thermoelectric generators, essentially, nuclear batteries using the heat from decaying plutonium. But time takes its toll. Systems are slowly shutting down. The tape recorder is gone. The camera is off. Some instruments have been turned off to conserve power. NASA engineers have even had to relearn outdated computer languages to send new commands. As of today, Voyager 1 is over 15 billion miles from Earth and counting. It's headed in the direction of the constellation Ophiuchus, though it won't come close to another star for 40,000 years. As the Voyager probes grow older, mission engineers have had to get increasingly inventive in tackling unexpected issues, ranging from communication blackouts to various technical glitches across the vast expanse of space. The team is already preparing to shut down Voyager 1's low-energy charged particle instrument and Voyager 2's cosmic ray subsystem in 2026. Still, 
Voyager 1 will continue its voyage with its plasma wave subsystem, which detects waves in space plasma, and its magnetometer, which tracks magnetic field variations, both remaining active. NASA experts anticipate that the spacecraft will retain enough power to keep at least one science instrument running into the 2030s. However, they acknowledge that any new challenges could potentially bring the mission to an end. Voyager 1 began as a mission of science, but it became something more. A symbol of human curiosity and endurance. Do you think Voyager 1 will stand the test of time? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to the channel for the latest revelations in space exploration. Hit the bell icon to stay updated, and let's continue to explore together.